Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over how to use a date picker dialog box. So I have a little demo here and you can see I just have a text view and it says select the date. If we click on select the date, a dialog box pops up and we can select the month, the day, and the year. So I'll just pick one at random and you can see that it updates the month which was, oh, okay. So I'll, I'll choose one not at random then just to confirm that it's working properly. So May is the fifth month and we'll choose the, I don't know, 11th day and we'll choose 2015 and click OK and we can see we get May for the fifth month the 11th day and 2015 so we'll start by creating a new project and I'll just call it uh, date picker I'll call it date picker dialog actually and empty activities fine and get Gradle to build your project okay once uh, Android Studio has built your project let's go into the activity main and we're just gonna create well actually we already have a text view we're just gonna change a few things so we'll delete the hello world text and we'll set a hint to select date and we'll give it an ID of text view date and let's give it a little margin on the top of 50 dp and we'll center it horizontally and let's set the text size to like 30 sp. Okay, that looks good enough for me. We can close activity main and we just need a few things up above on create we need a text view a date picker dialog on set on date set listener and our tag so we'll start by doing the tag that's the easiest and then we'll create our text view display date and then we create our date picker dialog and then on date set listener we'll call it on date set listener and that's all we need up there let's go down into on create and the first thing we'll do is declare our text view text view date and then we're going to set an on click listener to our text view so display date set on click listener new on click listener and now we need to create a calendar object so that we can get the current uh, day month and year so that when we when we click on the uh, on the text view it's going to instantly go to today's date if you I should have mentioned that in the demo but when I clicked on the text view, it immediately went to today's date. And that's because we create this uh, calendar object. So we'll say calendar, and then we'll say calendar get instance. And then we can get the day by, or sorry, we'll get the year by doing calendar dot get uh, calendar dot year. And then we do something very similar if we want to get the uh, month and the day. And then we just change this to uh, month and then this one can be day and we just change this to uh, day of month. It's very important that you use day of month because because there's a different number of days in every month so we have to choose day of month so that we get the days in the current month that we've selected. And then we create our date picker dialog object just call it dialog new date picker dialog and it creates it takes a bunch of stuff the first of which is the context. So we just go this. I believe this is fine. We don't need to use, uh, let's just use main activity dot this. Can't hurt. So we'll do that. And I'm actually gonna put this on a new line because it's quite long. And the next parameter is the theme. So we'll go android.r. Uh, what is it, style? And then we just pick a theme. So you can pick anything you like here. I'm just gonna choose the very first one. And then we pass our date set listener, and then we pass the year and the month and the day. And we pass we pass the year, month, and day like I mentioned above, so that when you first open up the dialog, it will go to this month, this day, and this year. And then I'm just going to set one property. Um, it's just to make the background transparent. So I'm going to say background drawable new color drawable and I'll do color dot transparent and uh, I can show you what it looks like if I don't do that also and then we just want to do dialog dot show now we need to create our on date set listener object or sorry initialize our on date set listener object so on date set listener equals new date set listener we let Android build it for us and don't forget our semicolon down there and uh, let's get a little more space here. So these integers here are gonna be, I don't, I don't know which order it is in, I can't remember actually. So first of all, let's actually print that out. I'm gonna print out i slash 
I don't know I don't know which one is the month which one's the day and which one's the year so let's just print them all out and find out there we go we'll just run that and see what we get so we can figure out what is what all right so we'll select a date and you can see it goes to April 4th 2017 which is today's date so that's good that means this first part is working correctly so now we'll select today's date and see what it prints out in the log so all right so from judging from the log it looks like I is gonna be the year so we can change that to year and three and four so four is gonna be the day so that should be day and this should be month but you'll notice that three is not April so but the way that these actually do it is um, January is zero and December is 11 so what we actually have to do is we would go um, month equals month plus one obviously if, if January is zero we need January to be one so we just need to add one to the month what we'll do is we'll go month month day day year 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 so here we'll put the month and here we'll put the day and here we'll put the year and that should be good so now we just need to take our month and set it to the text view so we can actually just go, uh, we'll do string date equals month, day, year, and then we'll go uh, our text view, whatever it's called, was it display date, set text to the date. And that should be good. So let's run this and see what we get. All right, we'll select a date. You can see it goes to today's date by default. Now we'll select, uh, we'll just select May 8th. Now we'll go May 12th, 2017. Uh, let's go higher, 2021. So we expect to see 05, 12, 2021, and we get 5, 12, 2021. So looks like it's working correctly. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like below, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.